implement MapReduce? Hello, I'm Microsoft Visual C Sharp 2010 Service Pack 1. Hello, I'm F Sharp. Okay, let's start with generic map function. So the function will return i enumerable of r. Uh, the name of the function is map and it has two generic type parameters d, which is the input argument and r, which is the type of result elements. Uh, the function has two arguments. So the first one is i enumerable of t's. That's our input sequence. And the second one is func tr. Uh, that's the function. Does it make sense? It is. I wonder if fx cop would let you get away with that. Hmm. Mm. Okay. Well, let's keep it simple because yes, I'm not. Yes. Yeah. We're only on the board. No fx yeah. cop today. And to implement the function, we'll just iterate over all the input elements. Well, it's good job we've got type inference at least here. I don't think I could have uh, stomached another uh, generic declaration. Oh, it's, it's just very simple function. <laughs> and yeah, we'll we just return the result of calling the function and that's it. I'm ready. Alrighty. Okay, so the next one is a reduce function, which returns some s. And it has two type arguments. t, that's uh, the type of the input, and s is the type of the output. And it has two arguments. The first one is the input collection. So it's i enumerable of t. Uh, the second argument uh, is the initial state. And the third argument is the aggregation function, which takes uh, the current state, the next element, and returns the new state. So that's easy. Uh, to implement the function, we'll just uh, remember the current state. So that's initially the init value. And then we'll loop over all the inputs. And we'll update the current state. So current equals um, f. current and the next element and at the end we just return the current state and that's it. Do you find it too simple? Uh, no. <laughs> let's have a look at what it looks like in F sharp. Uh, let's start by declaring the function map. I guess we need to take a function and some items. Hmm. Now we need to go over those items and return a sequence. And we'll just pipe out the result Done. So wait, wait, wait. Where, where are your types? Is it all the dynamic, or what's what's happening? Oh, you, you mean uh, like these ones? Oh, look, there's my tooltip. It's uh, type safe. And now the reduce function. Hmm. I'm wondering how you how you're gonna write it using recursion because i enumerable is really. You need to get the enumerator, and yeah, that's that's really going to be quite painful, I think. 
Yeah, I'd agree, but perhaps I don't need to do recursion this time. Let's have a look. We'll need a function called reduce. And that will need to take a function, an accumulator, and some items. Hmm, we'll need to mutate an accumulator. Well, yes, we can do that in F sharp, no problem. So let's go over each item in the collection and we shall mutate the accumulator with the function of the accumulator and the item and now we can just return the accumulator. But but how can you how can you use mutation in functional languages? Aren't you breaking all your rules? Well that's fine. If we want performance then we can use mutation. Now we have a reduce function. I wonder how easy it would be to do a sum function. Let's have a look. So we need a sum function and we could perhaps partially apply it. If we call reduce, we'll need to add all of the items and we'll need to start from zero. So this function will work for all floats. Hmm. Hmm. I think I'm going to choose F sharp to do my sums. Yeah, for that, the